Okay, so imagine this. You're a small business owner, right? And you kind of know AI is a pretty big deal. Like you've heard about it. You know you should probably be doing something with it. But trying to even wrap your head around like where to get started feels like you need to go back to school for like, I don't know, an advanced degree in algorithms. Yeah, totally. And you know who can relate to that? It's every SMB owner I talk to. I mean, think about it. You're already wearing a million hats. You're trying to keep the lights on, the customers happy. And then on top of that, you're supposed to become an AI expert overnight. No way. It's just not realistic. It's totally overwhelming. Like every tech company out there is suddenly an AI company. They've got their own platform, their own jargon. It's like everyone's speaking a different language. Exactly. And they all say their AI is going to revolutionize your business, right? So how's an SMB owner supposed to cut through the noise and figure out what's actually legit? That's what I want to know. It's like finding a good mechanic. You just want someone who's going to give it to you straight, no BS. And that's what's so interesting about this new program we're digging into today. Right. Tell me more. So it's from the B2 SMB Institute, and they're teaming up with universities. We're talking big names here. University of Houston, Columbia, Babson, to host these hybrid events about using AI, specifically geared towards SMBs. Okay, now that's intriguing. Universities partnering with businesses to make AI more accessible. There's a story there. Right, and it's not just about the credibility factor, although that's definitely a big part of it. Sure, because let's be honest, when it comes from a university, it just feels different, right? It feels more objective, less salesy, like you're actually learning something, not just being pitched to. Exactly. It's like instead of some generic AI presentation in a corporate conference hall, you're picturing a lecture hall buzzing with other business owners, all kind of in the same boat, maybe grabbing coffee afterward with a professor who is, you know, knee deep in AI research. It feels way more grounded, right? Oh, absolutely. That kind of environment fosters a whole different level of trust and openness. Exactly. And that's actually a deliberate strategy on the part of the program. You know, they're betting on the idea that a university setting naturally lends itself to that kind of open, honest exchange of ideas without the pressure of a sales pitch. Makes sense. Now, how are they actually making this happen? Yeah. Because funding for something like this, especially with universities involved, can get complicated. Well, and that's one of the things that really caught my eye when I was reading about this, how they're approaching the whole funding side of things. Oh. It's not your typical sponsorship model, you know, Bad. like where they get a bunch of big tech companies to foot the bill. And then, you know, inevitably there are some strings attached. Right. The classic right? brought to you by situation. So what are they doing differently? Well, they're going with a ticket based system. A ticket based system. Interesting. Uh, so how does that work exactly? So imagine you're like that local marketing agency, right? And you really want to show your SMB clients that you're on top of the AI game. You know you're the expert. You've got your finger on the pulse. What do you do? Hmm. I'm listening. You buy a block of tickets to these university events, and then you turn around and offer them to your clients as like a value add service. Oh, I see. So instead of just talking about AI, you're giving your clients a tangible way to engage with it, to learn about it from the best. Exactly. It's reframing the whole experience as an investment in your client's future rather than a sales pitch. Mm. It's like, hey, we're not just selling you marketing. We're invested in your success and we're giving you access to the knowledge you need to thrive in this new AI driven world. That's brilliant. Now that you put it that way, it's kind of genius, isn't it? It's a win win for everyone involved. Yeah. And because these events are hosted at universities, it carries that extra weight of credibility, right? Like it's not just some marketing guru in a shiny suit telling you about AI. It's academics, researchers, people who are actually living and breathing this stuff. Oh, it's a completely different league. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, getting quick financial advice from a friend versus sitting down with a seasoned financial advisor who's got all the credentials. Yeah. The information might be similar, but the context, the source, it makes all the difference. Totally. And then there's another layer to this whole thing. The format itself is kind of unique. They're going with a hybrid model, which I think is really smart for this audience. Hybrid model, huh? <laughs> so they're blending online and in-person elements. Uh -huh. I like where this is going. Tell me more. Yeah, exactly. And they're doing it in a way that I think is super strategic, especially for SMB owners who, you know, let's be honest, are already short on time. They're like, just tell me what I need to know. OK, so how does it work? How are they structuring this hybrid approach? Well, think of it like a music festival. OK, so you've got your main stage acts, right? Your big name speakers, those general sessions that everyone can access virtually no matter where they are. Right. Got it. 
Mm -hmm. So there's that broad appeal, that opportunity for everyone to get a taste of the big picture. Exactly. But then, and this is where it gets really cool, you also have those smaller, more intimate workshops and deep dives. Mm -hmm. And those are happening in person on campus at the university. Ah, so it's the best of both worlds. Yeah. You get the broad reach with the virtual component and then that personalized engagement with the in-person sessions. I like it. And it lets them cater to different learning styles, you know? So someone who's just dipping their toes into AI can get that broad overview online, but then those who are ready to really dig in, roll up their sleeves, they can have those face-to-face -face interactions, ask those really specific questions. It's like they've thought of everything. It's smart, right. And this is what I love about this whole thing. It's not just like some theoretical, you know, AI is the future kind of thing. It's like, okay, but how do you actually use it? What does that look like in the real world? And the source material mentions these deep dive sessions. They're tailored to specific industries, specific business challenges. All right, now that's smart. Yeah. Because a one size fits all approach to AI, that just doesn't work. Yeah. Every business is different. Every industry has its own quirks. Exactly. So instead of just talking about AI in this like abstract sense, they're saying, okay, you're a restaurant owner. Let's talk about how AI can help you specifically. Right. With real world examples, case studies, maybe even bringing in some local businesses that are already using AI successfully. Okay. So walk me through that. What would that look like for, say, a restaurant owner? What kind of AI tools are we even talking about here? Well, I mean, the possibilities are pretty much endless when you really start thinking about it. But yeah. just off the top of my head, you've got AI powered tools that can help predict customer demand, you know, so you can optimize your menu. You're not wasting food. You've got exactly what people want when they want it. That's huge, especially these days with food costs being what they are. Absolutely. And then there's AI for personalizing marketing messages you know, based on customer preferences. So you're not just spamming people with generic coupons. You're actually targeting them with stuff they're likely to actually use. That's the dream, right? Like knowing what your customers want before they even know it. Right. And then on the more operational side, there are AI tools that can help manage staff scheduling more efficiently, which is always a pain point for restaurants. Always. Trying to manage those schedules, it's like a full-time job in itself. Exactly. So you can see how even just those few examples, it's not about robots taking orders or anything like that. It's about using AI to solve those nitty-gritty everyday problems that keep SMB owners up at night. It's like finally having a team of like super efficient assistants working behind the scenes 24 seven. That's a great way to put it. And the best part is these AI tools, they're becoming increasingly affordable and user friendly, even for small businesses. Which is key because if it's too complicated or too expensive to implement, then what's the point? Exactly. And this is where I think partnering with universities is so brilliant. Okay, tell me more about that. Why universities specifically? Well, for starters, universities have always been at the forefront of research and development, right? So they're in a unique position to identify and vet these emerging technologies. Right. So SMBs aren't wasting time and money on something that's just a fad or, you know, isn't actually going to be useful for them. Exactly. And then there's the whole credibility factor we talked about earlier. SMBs might be hesitant to trust a random tech startup with their data or their business operations. But a university, that's a different story. Right? Totally. Universities have that built-in trust factor. They're seen as objective, reliable sources of information. Plus, let's be real, having a university's stamp of approval on something, that just carries a lot of weight, especially in the business world. It's like a signal to investors, to customers, to everyone that you're on the cutting edge. Absolutely. And I love how this program takes a step further. Did you see the part about the 15-week consulting program for SMBs after the event? Oh, yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. It's like, okay, you've learned about AI, you're excited, but then what? This program actually gives you the support you need to actually implement these solutions. It's so smart. Imagine you're an SMB owner. You've just spent the day learning from AI experts at a top university. You're fired up. You're ready to make some changes. And then you have access to faculty who can actually guide you through the process. It's like that extra push you need to go from this sounds cool to we're actually doing this. It's like the difference between, I don't know, reading a book about gardening and then having a master gardener come to your backyard and actually help you plant your first vegetable patch. Yeah. It's that hands-on practical experience that makes all the difference. I love that analogy. And I've got to think that there's something about being on a university campus that kind of sparks a different mindset too, you know? It's like you're stepping back into a learning environment. 
Totally. It's that willingness to experiment, to try new things, to not be afraid to fail. It's like that entrepreneurial spirit. It's contagious. It's like that saying, you're only as old as you feel. Exactly. Yeah. And I think this program is tapping into that. It's saying, hey, it's never too late to learn something new, to innovate, to reinvent yourself. It's inspiring. But I do wonder, and maybe I'm being too much of a skeptic here, but can something like this actually scale? Like, can they really reach a significant number of SMBs with this kind of approach? That's a really good question. And honestly, it's one of the big question marks hanging over this whole thing. Because on the one hand, I love the idea of these smaller, more intimate events. It feels very personalized, very high touch. But on the other hand, if they're relying on ticket sales to fund it, can they really make the numbers work? Right. And even if the funding is there, there are only so many universities out there, right? And only so many faculty members with the time and expertise to dedicate to something like this. And we haven't even talked about the logistics of it all, you know, like coordinating with universities, finding the right venues, marketing these events to SMBs. It's a lot. It's a huge undertaking. And that's not even getting into the whole question of how they're actually going to measure the success of this program. Right. Because it's one thing to have these events, but are they actually moving the needle? Are SMBs actually implementing AI solutions as a result of attending? And are those solutions having a tangible impact on their business? Are they seeing increased efficiency, higher sales, happier customers? Those are the metrics that matter, right? Yeah, absolutely. And even beyond the numbers, I think it's about changing the mindset. Are SMBs seeing AI as something that's accessible to them, something they can continue to leverage even after the program ends. Because ultimately that's the goal, right? It's not just about giving them a taste of AI. It's about empowering them to become lifelong learners and adopters of these technologies. Here's about it. It's about fostering that culture of innovation within the SMB community because they're the ones who are really going to drive the economy forward. You know, it's funny reading about this program. It's like I almost wish I had a time machine, you know? Oh, really? Yeah. How so? I just imagined myself back when I was starting out trying to navigate that whole small business world, like so focused on just keeping my head above water yeah. that things like AI, even though I knew it was important, it just felt like, I don't know, a luxury I couldn't afford. A program like this would have been a game changer back then. It makes you realize how much things have changed. Right. And how much support SMBs didn't have even just a few years ago. For sure. It was a different world. And I think this program, it really highlights how important it is to have that direct line to expertise, you know, mm -hmm. because SMB owners, they're so busy. They've got limited resources. They can't be expected to also be on the cutting edge of every new technology. Exactly. They need someone they can trust to curate that information for them, to cut through the hype. Yeah. And who better than a university? Right. Seriously. It's like having a secret weapon in your back pocket. And it's not just about the knowledge itself. It's that credibility that comes with it. Oh, for sure. Imagine you're pitching to investors, yeah. right? Or even just trying to impress a potential client. Being able to say, hey, we're incorporating cutting edge AI strategies that we learned directly from researchers at you know, Columbia University. That carries some serious weight. It's a whole different ballgame. And it makes you wonder, like, why stop at AI, right? This whole concept, this university-backed hybrid event approach, it could be applied to so many other areas where SMBs need that extra edge. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. think about digital marketing. That landscape changes, like, every five minutes. Right. And then you've got sustainability, data privacy, all these things that are becoming more and more complex, and SMBs are trying to figure it out on their own. Exactly. And universities are already doing the research. They have the expertise. It's just a matter of making those connections, building those bridges. It's like opening a door to a whole new world of possibilities. And who knows, maybe this program, it's just the beginning. Maybe this is going to inspire a whole wave of these collaborations between universities and the business world. I hope so. I because know. ultimately, it's about empowering those who are often overlooked, right? Those small and medium-sized businesses that are the backbone of our economy. So well said. And on that note of optimism and possibility, I think it's time for us to wrap up this deep dive. A huge thank you to you, our listeners, for joining us on this exploration of AI, universities, and the future of small business. We'll definitely be keeping a close eye on that pilot event at the University of Houston. Yes, let's see what they come up with. Until next time, everybody, Keep those entrepreneurial spirits high and never stop learning. Here, here.